Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Jim and this is the Daddy Man Can. Today I'm going to be making a paracord germ grenade. I don't know about you, but my kids are basically vectors for the plague, so having a hand sanitizer with me at all times is imperative. I love tying paracord stuff, so I devised a simple wrap to make it easier to carry a sanitizer with me wherever I go. They work great clipped on a baby bag, cooler, or stroller, and I always have one in the car for after the park or a visit to the thrift store. This project is very easy and takes about a half an hour to make. There are a few things you will need to put this together, but you should have most of them already. And what you don't have, you can get for less than $10 on the interwebs. To start with, you will need paracord, a 15 foot length of your chosen color. Next, you will need a pair of scissors for cutting. Paracord tends to fray really easily if your cutting device isn't sharp enough. I really like these little tweezerman scissors for paracord. They're sharp and compact and get the job done. Once you've cut your cord, you'll need a lighter or flame source to melt the ends. A little Bic lighter will be adequate for this task. Of course, you will also need a hand sanitizer. You don't want an unsightly label showing through your paracord, so make sure to remove the labels and use some 91% alcohol to clean the glue residue off. You'll also need some tape to secure the cord to the bottle while tying. Masking tape will be perfect. In order to attach your germ grenade to your desired location, you'll want a clip of some kind. I like these Night Eyes carabiners, but go with whatever you like. Lastly, you'll need a way to pull the cord through the knots when stitching the side parts of the wrap. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about in a minute. I use these special paracord needles, called FIDs, that thread onto the end of a cord. If you don't have these, or don't want to purchase them, you can use either a hemostat, which I will demonstrate as well, or needle nose pliers. Great, now that we've got all our supplies in order, let's start knotting. We're going to start by matching up both ends of the paracord and pull the cord until you reach the very middle of your 15 foot length. Now that you have the middle of your cord, place the loop over the cap of your sanitizer bottle thusly, making sure you leave just a little space on the back side. Next, get your tape and secure your paracord to the bottle, like this. Flip your grenade over and put the ends of your paracord through the loop you made, pulling it all the way through. Make sure you leave about a finger's worth of slack in your paracord because tying the knots will tighten the cord. And if you don't leave space, it'll be too tight to work with. Following along? Yes! Good! On we go! Now we can start tying. For this grenade, we are using the classic Cobra knot, also called a Solomon bar. If you've ever tied any paracord or hemp, you most likely are familiar with this knot. To start tying, take the cord on the left side and find the working end. Place this end behind your two cords and pull it all the way through, leaving just a little loop. Now take the cord on the right, run it underneath the first cord, over the two middle cords and run it through the little loop you left on the other side. Cinch the knot down until it is just snug. You don't want it to be too tight because later we are going to be stitching through these knots. Great, one knot down. Now we are going to do the same thing except in reverse. If you always start on the same side, you'll end up with a spiral, which looks really cool, but won't work for this project. Taking the working end on the right side, run it behind the two cords and pull it through, leaving just a little loop. Run the left cord underneath this cord, over the top two cords, and through the loop on the right side. Cinch it down, but remember, not too tight. 
Continue tying, always alternating your knots. First starting on the left, then the right, then the left. You get the picture. Eventually, you will reach the bottom of the bottle, and at this point, you need to make a decision of how you want to proceed. There are two methods to choose from. First, you can simply continue your knotting all the way across the bottom and around the other side until you reach the end. The other option, which I'm going to be doing today, I think looks cleaner and enables you to easily attach your carabiner to the bottom of the bottle if you want to hang it upside down. What you need to do now is flip your grenade over, take your left cord, Run it under the two middle cords exactly like before. Run the right cord behind it, over the two middle cords, and through the loop on the left side. Now snug it down ensuring that everything is centered, tight, and perfectly aligned. Now do the same thing on the right, making sure that it is still straight on both sides. At this point, you can take your tape off and continue tying exactly as you did on the other side of the bottle. Lather, rinse, and repeat. Always repeat. Now that we've reached the top, we have to stop and start stitching. I'm going to demonstrate using the fid first. Thread the fid onto the end of your paracord and run it through the underside of the second knot on the other side of the bottle, pulling it all the way through until it is snug. Next, do the same thing back through the next knot on the other side of the bottle, thusly. Pull it snugly. For the other side, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this using a hemostat or needle nose pliers. Place the end of your hemostat through the knot, open it up, grab the end of your cord, and pull it through. Whichever method you use, just continue stitching both sides until you reach the last knot on the very bottom of the bottle.
Once you reach the end of the bottle on both sides, snug everything up and make sure all your knots and stitches are centered and square. Cut your excess cord, leaving just enough to melt with your lighter. Hold the flame on the cord until it gets really melty. Lick your finger and press it down firmly, flattening the melted end. Be careful when doing this not to breathe in the smoke. And remember that melted cord is really, really hot, like molten lava. Please don't burn yourself. Liquid hot magma. Now do the same thing on the other side. Now all that's left to do is attach your carabiner and boom, you have a paracord germ grenade. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more fun and creative projects like this.